Now, for those of you who don't know, Anime Expo is one of the largest conventions in the world. In fact, it's the largest anime convention in the world, and for a very bad reason. You see, Anime Expo does this very hilarious and funny meme where they do not cap ticket sales, and they have never capped ticket sales even though the attendance continues to double. As someone who has personally been going to Anime Expo since around 2007, I know I'm old, shoot me. I, alongside a lot of attendees, which I'm sure include some of you because its attendance is at over 100,000 now, have definitely noticed that it has become overcrowded. I completely understand trying to make money, but it's at the point where it's a damn near fire hazard. I mean it when I say that a lot of sections at Anime Expo are now shoulder to shoulder, and it's been getting worse every single year. However, if that's not scummy enough, Anime Expo went and proved that they can take it just a little bit further. You see, today Anime Expo tweeted out this image. Mind you, this is one month before the con. In fact, it's less than a month. It's like 20-something days before the con. Let me read it to you. COVID-19 health and protocol update. While face coverings will still be required inside the LACC, we will no longer be requiring proof of vaccination or a negative test for entry. Face coverings must fit snugly and properly, fully covering your nose and mouth and secure under your chin. As I'm sure you can tell, the world is um enthralled by the news that you can just go to AX with COVID. I can 100% see how the most crowded convention on earth not requiring a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination isn't going to be a bad thing at all. Uh, this is sarcasm slash S. Obviously, the world's not enthralled by it. With over 2,800 quote retweets by the time this has been posted, they're getting ratioed to hell for a good reason. But let me explain why it's so messed up. Obviously, not requiring a negative test and not requiring proof of vaccination is already bad enough. But since Anime Expo doesn't cap its ticket sales, this is literally the perfect place to have the worst COVID outbreak like ever. On top of that, them posting this less than one month before the convention, where people have already made plans to fly out to LA, booked hotels, etc., etc., kind of forces everyone's hand to kind of deal with it. It's just a super bad and awful thing for AX to do, and obviously it's kind of expected because AX has done shady things in the past. But this one kind of takes the cake. When I say it is shoulder to shoulder, I mean it is literally shoulder to shoulder. In fact, we'll look up a YouTube video right now so you guys can see how bad it is. Mind you, what I'm about to show you is from Anime Expo 2019. Okay, are you ready? Look at this! Look at how bad Anime Expo is, man! And they're not requiring any kind of proof of vaccination at all! And as somebody who has personally gone there, this doesn't let up. It is like this every single day for four days. It is this packed. Some people wait like 10 hours to get their badges on day one, and it's just awful. So it's very clear that Anime Expo is just doing whatever they can to secure as much guests as possible as they've been doing over and over again. Even without COVID, you could tell in this video that that is not safe. This is not healthy. They should be capping ticket sales and they should have been capping ticket sales forever ago. But I digress. It's just kind of messed up for them to do this so late, especially when a lot of people who go to vend at Anime Expo use it as like a very big part of their income. I don't know if you guys have ever met any vendors, but conventions are a very big portion of where their money comes from. Especially when it comes to the highest attended convention in the entire world. A lot of vendors who are going to this convention, who have already signed to get a table, who have already booked their trip, who are already excited to go and sell and do their jobs, are now going to be forced to deal with the fact that nobody in there needs to prove that they don't have COVID. I just need to say that again, because it is genuinely insane to me, and it's, it's taking me a bit. You do not have to prove that you do not have COVID to go to Anime Expo. And I know some of you may be thinking, hey, Scooch, but you have to wear masks, so why are you so worried about it? Well, let me tell you, bud. Let's look at this video again. Can you point at a single person in this video that is getting paid near minimum wage to tell people to do anything? Can you find the one person or two security guards in this entire event? Can you find a single one in this image that is going to be able to enforce a mask policy? Can you find one? No, there's not. I promise you. I paused this for like five minutes and I scanned so that I can make a joke about it. So you tell me which one person or 10 in this 
in this 10 people are you telling me that 10 people are going to be able to budge through this crowd and make sure that every single person is wearing a mask i don't think it's possible and since anime expo has proven to only care about money I'm not entirely expecting them to up the security detail in order to make sure that people are wearing masks. So it just kind of sucks because Anime Expo is a time of the year where I do like to go and see my friends. And again, I'm sure a lot of you do it too because there are over 100,000 people that attend it. Um, but it's just kind of disgusting for them to do this just to make their lives easier, to not have people have to check if you have a COVID vaccination or a negative COVID test. And, and it's just kind of miserable for them to do it. I'm sure it's going to sour the mood for a lot of people who attend. I personally know a few vendors who are still going to go because this is, again, a big part of their livelihood. So they're just going to be forced to deal with it and kind of be worried the entire time if some asshole just showed up with COVID because he wanted to see anime. And in the most packed place that I have literally ever been in my life, I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very, very easy to spread COVID. And now I'm sure there's a lot of you who are probably wondering the age old question, why? Why is Anime Expo doing this at all? Doesn't it seem odd that Anime Expo waited until about 21, 22 days before the convention to even tell people about this horrible policy that would make everybody leave? Why don't they just get a refund, you might be thinking. Well, I got some beautiful news for you. At the time that they posted this, there are now no refunds available for your badges to Anime Expo, meaning that they waited until this point so that they could make sure that no matter what, they get to keep your money. It's literally the story of the white elephant where people went to a carnival and then paid a guy a dollar to see a legendary white elephant and the white elephant was just painted. People are just getting swindled at this point and it's the biggest convention on earth, bro. Oh, it's so bad. It's like a Disney villain is sitting atop a throne of cash, just, just maniacally cackling to himself, laughing at the fact that he managed to get hundreds of thousands of people to pay for this again my heart really goes out to the vendors though because even having a table at ax costs hundreds if not thousands of dollars on top of that to be a vendor at a convention you have to pour a bunch of money into inventory anyway so it's going to run you a couple grand and now all of those vendors are going to be kind of forced to deal with this shitty situation that ax just threw on them three or so weeks before the convention it's all just a big sticky piece of boo-boo and i hate it and it's awful Yucky, bad, ew, bad, bad, no. Again, here's a video of me there in 2007. I mean it when I say I'm a con goer at heart, and it makes me upset that this is happening to the holy grail of conventions. That's all I want to say. Have a wonderful day. Adios.